Hello everybody, welcome. Iceburn the gamer here and today I am in with a beautiful chess game. This is the game which is very special to me because it helped me reach 1000 points for the first time since I started playing. And it was against this player whose score was already 1003 and let's start. I start with e4 but he replies with e6 which is an irritating move for me because I really don't like when the opposition makes the move. Okay, I just, just somehow wanted him to deflect that and I play really an orthodox game here. As you can see, it's already turning out to be very bad with pawn islands on both and from here onwards I had a clear lead. As you can see, if he takes out my knight, his rook is hanging but he still goes and does that. I take out his rook and the next is I am bringing my pawn all the way from h2 to g7. And he has to move his king. Now the only way is to attack from bishop because I want his king to be away from the g file uh, where I thought I could uh, take the knight but uh, it was not a very good move so I just waited. Got his bishop and highlighted and now I bring my rook into the play. Here he brings his pawn to f2 unsupported so I take it out and then I bring my bishop into play. So if he takes out my bishop with his pawn at this point it wouldn't be a big problem but it might lead to problems for him so he decides not to I'm sorry and now finally I bring the other rook into the game so this is the place where everything changes I'm sorry about it now this was a blunder from my end I wanted uh, rook from h7 to h5 instead of that I my fat fingers ended up uh, putting that on h6 which was a blunder because uh, you will see uh, it led to a very good thing I mean I had this idea of h6 but uh, h5 was what I wanted to do and now he takes out my bishop which was very bad to him as I told you he has nowhere to go it's a check and a forced to mate in two feel free to pause and uh, let me know whatever he moves now will be a checkmate in the next move okay any takers it's amazing if you have guessed i did the same move either he can move his king to f4 or g4 and wherever he moves it's a checkmate because my queen is coming to e4 he moved his king to g4 and this is a checkmate. As you can see I have 2 minutes 57 seconds left on my clock and he has 0.1 seconds left on his clock. And my score is exactly 1000 which is not yet reflected here but it is. So let me just go back and see. Okay. Let me analyze. Mm, good analysis so this was the same move and analysis that you saw and uh, thank you all for uh, watching the game now let's see a brief analysis of what uh, the system says it also shows the threat so let's see how we played book move that was a blunder from my side but still uh, I intend to do the book moves Okay, on the hindsight, I think instead of uh, pawn taking pawn uh, from h5 to g6, it would have been better if I had uh, 
you know put it just on h6 which could have taken the knight very easily but uh, checkmate wouldn't have been possible so yeah that's that's that Well, thank you all for watching the game. I hope you liked the analysis, liked the game. And this was the game that helped me reach 1000 points. So this is something close to me and that is the reason I'm bringing out this video. Thanks a lot. Love you all. Take care.